Turn, uh, doon naman sa part ng uh, ruling ng first division, there is um, excerpt to the failure to file tax returns is not inherently wrong in the absence of a law punishing it. This portion yeah. is going viral ngayon sa SOCMED and I mean social media and they are attributing it to the COMELET as a whole. How would you like to respond to this? Sir? No, no. Um, what they're doing is they're taking that particular line um, out of context. Diba? Sinabi talaga yan. Uh, the, the decision does say that. But the decision was saying that in the context of trying to explain the difference between a crime mala in se versus a mala prohibitum. Diba? Okay, I know it's like fancy Latin and, and no one likes to hear fancy Latin, you know, especially in a time like this, but this is a very important criminal law principle. What it says is that a crime mala in se is a crime that is by itself naturally wrong. For example, murder. murder. You don't need a law to tell you that murder is wrong, right? But there are some offenses that are mala, in, mala prohibitum, which means they are considered wrong under the law only because a special law exists to penalize it. For example, cutting down a tree. Cutting down a tree is not inherently wrong, but because there is a law that says cutting down a tree is wrong, then it becomes wrong. Okay, maybe a better example would be jaywalking. Bilang, bilang environmentalist like that. Yes, that's correct. Cutting a tree should be considered inherently wrong. I'm sorry, but let's say jaywalking. Jaywalking is not inherently wrong, but if there is a law that's, if there's a, if there's a um, what do we say? If there's a uh, an ordinance that prohibits jaywalking, then it becomes wrong. Yun ang purpose ng statement na yun. But if you, if, you, uh, if you look at what's being said now on social media, what they're saying is, because the COMELEC said that, edi eh okay lang pala huwag mag-file ng ITR. Mali din yun because even in the decision itself, the COMELEC points out that in fact, a special law was passed to penalize failure to file ITR. So it is wrong to say that the COMELEC is saying na walang offense ang failure to file ITR because the COMELEC said, meron nga eh. Meron nga. But there, is, there, there was, uh, there was uh, a point to be made about the difference between mala inse and mala prohibito. So that's that's all it was. And it's just being taken out of context. Unfortunately, again, in the atmosphere that we're in, you know, uh, you, you do expect that some people will tend to run away with that sort of thing. So yun, yun lang yun. Uh, yun lang yun. Ang, ang issue dyan. Um, the COMELEC does not say that failure to file an ITR is not a punishable offense. It is. The COMELEC is not saying that failure to file an ITR is okay because it is not. All right. Also, very important to, to to emphasize, failure to file an ITR is not by itself necessarily tax evasion. Okay, these are two different offenses, punished differently under the law. Perhaps you have a call to those who are repeatedly uh, using this portion of the decision. You know what? Again, apart from just saying, apart from just emphasizing that the COMELEC is not saying that I, that failure to file an ITR is not an offense, there's really nothing we can do. Uh, they will say what they want to say, even even when they have the facts right in front of their faces. So that's that's perfectly fine. Ang point lang is it has to be clear, it has to be on the record that COMELEC is not saying that failure to file an ITR is not an offense.